So today is Sunday, the day after IMATS, and I am so exhausted right now. I literally got ready precisely for the fact that I was filming. But I wanted to film this intro for you guys, um, talking about IMATS and everything. Pre-warning, this is going to be really fucking long. I'm going to have down below in the description box, there's going to be all the times with when I talk about what. So if you want to see only the haul, all the times will be done there. So you can go right to that point if you don't want to watch this whole like 20 minute long video. Okay, so for IMATS, I stayed at my friend's house in LA and we left that morning. We got to IMATS around like 12.30 I think. You walk in and there is a huge showroom. It was like so crazy busy. People were wearing like crazy shit on their faces. It was kind of overwhelming. The first person I met was actually when we were walking on the way to IMATS and we were like, me and Laura, my friend, were at one side of the street and then on the other side of the street I see this girl and I was like her eyebrows look like really familiar and then we get closer and it was Nikki or Eurasian Nikki I'll put her username right here um, she was so cool and down to earth and I felt like we had known each other I felt like we were already friends like it did not feel like I was talking to a stranger or whatever but we always talk on Twitter and stuff so it was really cool to like finally meet her in person um, but she was leaving as we were going in sorry if I'm like super not energetic right now I'm like literally about to pass out as I'm talking so then we were like walking around we had been there for like two hours saw a fashion show and stuff that you guys will see in the vlog and then I was texting Shelby XOXO Shelby G and we met up holy shit guys she's like even more gorgeous in real life she I took off my heels because I was like fuck this like my feet already hurt and so she was wearing these like five inch heels I looked like a midget next to her it was really cool to meet Shelby she was super sweet and gorgeous and all of these people's channels will be down below, by the way. So yeah, Laura and I were in there for probably like three hours. I feel like there wasn't as many like of the big people here that the, than there was at the New York IMATS. I didn't get to meet a few people that I was planning on meeting. I really freaking wanted to meet Megan Rosette. I was like, I'm going on a Megan hunt right now. Felt like I was trying to find fucking Waldo. So make sure you check down below for all of the times if you want to fast forward to a certain point. I'm going to film this really, really quick because I'm supposed to already be on the road right now. Why does the lighting look normal when I tilt my head? Maybe I should just film the whole video like this. But I Instagrammed a picture of my IMATS makeup bag and you guys wanted a what's in my makeup bag video. Alright, so I have two makeup bags I'm bringing. The first one is this super cute leopard neon green one that I got from my $0 swap with Court4545. So go watch that if you want to. And then this is the big ass glittery thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull out whatever. Where's my red? My red's hiding. You get out here. I don't know why I get accents the moment I start filming. First thing I pull out is Urban Decay's All Nighter Spray. This is what I use before and after my makeup and it lasts all day with this stuff. And I literally will not go a day without wearing this. I'm addicted to setting sprays. The next thing I pull out, I don't know why I have this. We're gonna put that back in my room. This is a Scandinavia setting spray, don't need both of those. Okay, then I have my foundation. I'm bringing the Revlon Color Stay Whip Foundation in 200 Sand Beige, and this is what I did a review on. Love this stuff, wearing it right now. This is what I set it with. It's the Maybelline Mineral Power Powder Foundation, and this has an SPF of 18. That's a really random number. And the bronzer I use is what is this shit? Milani Baked Bronzer in Glow. It's one of those baked bronzers, so it has like a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not super glittery. The concealer I've been using, which was actually in the products I freaking hate video, um, but I've been using it not really as a concealer, but more as like a brow bone highlighter, and I like it for that, and that's the Instant Age Rewind Race Circle shit. My brow pencil is Maybelline Define a Brow in medium brown. I don't know what else to say about that. It's a brow pencil. It's good. Like it. My eye primer I use is Max Painterly Paint Pot. If you don't use a primer, you don't know what you're doing with your life. The blush I'm bringing, which is really dirty, is Max Improvise. And it's this, like, I think this is probably another baked mineral blush. And it's this super pretty, like, rose color with, like, a pink shimmer in it. 
And then another blush I'm bringing is L'Oreal True Match in Innocent Flush. And it's just this super pretty peach color. I wear this pretty much every day. It's matte, which I like. It's another concealer, and it's the Derma, Derma Blend Cover Cream in Rose Beige. And I just got this. I Instagrammed a picture of it the other day. And it's super, super full coverage. Alright, this is kind of ridiculous. I brought a lot of makeup. Then I brought this quad just because this is the shade I use for my brow bone highlight on my eyes every single day. As you can see, I hit pan. And this is just the Physicians Formula Palette in Canyon Classics. This random eyeshadow I brought is MAC Modern Pewter. And this is from the Extra Dimension Collection. And it's so freaking pretty. Mascaras, I have three that I'm bringing. First one is L'Oreal's Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, and that's what I have on my eyes right now. And then the second one is L'Oreal Doesn't Have a Name, it's in a black tube, obviously, you can see it. This one is the Wet n Wild Makeup Plump Waterproof Mascara, and this is what I put on my bottom lashes. What else am I bringing? I'm bringing only two lip things. I'm bringing Max Creme de Nude, the Revlon Super Lustrous in Peach Petal. Oh, this actually has an SPF of 15. That's pretty cool. The last couple things is my eyeliner, Maybelline Ultra Liner Waterproof Liquid Liner that I use every day, except today because I'm only wearing mascara. And then the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, which I actually do use every single day. And I put this on my waterline. How exciting that is. It's just a ball. It just makes me happy. That was everything in that bag. This bag is my brushes. Brushes, I don't think this is going to be too entertaining, so I'm just going to show them to you really quick. Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush, what I use every day, hair, what I use every day for blending out my liquid foundation. This is the F80. Elf Powder Brush, Blush Brush, and Contour Brush right here. For eyes, I have two of the Elf Shader Brushes, one of the BH Cosmetics Blending Brush, one of the Elf Defining Eye Brushes, and the Sigma Taper Blending Brush E40. Then the Urban Decay Naked 2 Palette. Um, just because I really like two of the colors in there, and that's about it, honestly. I use Verve and Pistol, which are these two colors right here. That was everything in my eye mask makeup bag. I know it's a little ridiculous. Don't need all that makeup. I never know if these videos are entertaining because, I don't know. I like watching them. This is probably the only time you guys are ever going to see a what's in my makeup bag video because I never touch up my makeup throughout the day. So the only time I actually have a makeup bag is when I'm traveling. I'm really excited for eye mats. I'm excited to meet a bunch of people that I talk to on YouTube. And why is this sleeve so much higher than this sleeve? All right, I need to go now, seriously. It is actually Saturday night right now, the day of IMATS, and I am filming back at home, obviously, you know, the background is the same. I'm like super fucking exhausted, so I think I'm just going to show you guys what I got today and then maybe talk about IMATS and everything like that. I'll film that tomorrow and then compact this into one video. So if the lighting isn't great, it's because I'm using a construction light. So here's my lovely iMats bag, which I'm going to keep for like my whole entire life. I don't know why, I just really like the bag. It's so appealing. And they were out of them when we first got there and I was like, oh hell no. Then we checked back like two hours later and they restocked. This is what the iMats bag looks like. It's like bigger than my whole body. I didn't get that much stuff at iMats. I didn't really think I was going to. I was going there more to like meet the girls I talked to and meet people and just like for the 
overall experience. Um, but I did pick up a few things, mostly like brushes. Fuck, my battery's dying. Charge it or should I try and do it really fast? I'm gonna charge it. That's how much I love you guys. I'm gonna charge it. So I charged the battery for about two minutes and then got too bored and anxious. So probably gonna have to repeat that process in about two minutes. Okay, so when we first walked in, there was like this makeup brush place with like super cheap brushes. And it turns out there were like 25 of those in the showcase room, but we didn't know that. Okay, so we both got brushes at the first one. I don't have a stippling brush, so I got a like blush stippling brush. Um, that was a tongue twister, and it's by the brand Royal and Langnickel. I don't know. I think that's who sponsored this shit. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. What up, sponsors? Maybe they should have an easier name to pronounce if they're gonna sponsor an event. Just saying. It's a stippling blush brush. I think it was $7.50. Oh, it was $6. So the next thing I got is this brush from ccfashionbrush.com is their website. Gel eyeliner brush. And yeah, it's supposed to be bent. It's not like broken or some shit. And this was only a dollar, so I was like, huh, fuck yeah. My favorite purchase of the day. And it's this pink brush from, I don't even know who it's from. It doesn't say on the handle. But it's this blush brush that's pink, clearly. And I just like that it's pink. Kind of makes you want to like go eat some freaking cotton candy or some shit. And that was only two fifty. I don't know if I said that, but. Okay, then the next thing I got, <laughs> is this pen just has really good pigmentation. I mean, you can only find it at eye mats. Okay, these I'm really excited about. We went to Inglot. So I got two of their pan eyeshadows and these you can put in like their Freedom palette, which is their magnetic palette, but I have a Z palette and some other palettes. So I just put the pan straight into those palettes. First color I got is called, it's just 388 and it's this like super bright matte royal blue color and it is so freaking pigmented I was like I don't know when I'm ever gonna wear this but I need it in my life I don't know why this one came in their little box and that one didn't but they're both pans and it's the shade 358 and it's just this gorgeous taupe purple color I looked on their website when we got back to my friend's house and these are usually I think it was like $12 a piece or and I got both of them for $10. The last brush I got, I know I went like brush crazy and I don't even need brushes. Like I don't know why I got this many brushes, but they were so cheap, like I had to. This baby kabuki brush, like how freaking cute is that? It's so tiny, but it's super, super dense. And I asked him and it's synthetic bristles, so you can use this with liquid foundation. And this is crown brush. And this I got for $4. Water, because you have to stay hydrated at eye mats. Gotta push all those girls out of the way. By the way, while we're talking about shoving chicks out of the way, we were freaking standing at Inglot and this lady is like hovercrafting above all of the eyeshadows. Like, dude, can I just see that one shade? So the last thing I got at IMAS, I went to Urban Decay and I was trying to get the D Slick setting spray, but they sold out. Um, but it was really cool. They gave me a promo code to use online for 40% off because Urban Decay Everything was 40% off. I almost shat my pants. But the one thing I got is actually in the Naked 2 palette and I think is really unique is the light gray champagne color in the Naked 2 palette. And this is one color that if I ran out in the Naked 2 palette, I would repurchase. And these were 1080 at the booth instead of like 18 something, the lady said, normal retail. That was everything that I got at IMATS. This is the book they gave us. Like, that's cool. That's creepy as fuck. Like, thank you. Gonna have nightmares for a year about that one. Thumbs up if you like this, and I'll see you guys in my next video.